Hi there, welcome to another video as usual. My name is Jeffrey and today straight into it. No, 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 no preliminaries. I want to talk about software updates because part of the community, uh, especially with me, the MIUI community, everyone is always complaining about updates. Ah, this update messed up my battery life. I cannot get SOT more than six hours again. This update is making my phone hang. This update this, this update that. And very honestly, lots of companies deserve stick in fact we should use their software updates as stick to beat them with because some software updates are bad and they really mess up people's devices right it's why for the most part i really i usually don't i do not join the pilots i never join the pilot because i have only one phone if the phone goes bad there goes my youtube channel and there goes my blog so i, I always tell people that just like give it some time and then wait let people update first and then give you feedback before you update. But whilst the companies have their share of the blame, definitely they do, right? Companies do have their share of the blame. Lots of smartphone users also have their share of the blame because 90% of people, dare I say, 90% of people I am surmising do not know how software updates work or how they are supposed to work. The whole process, lots of people end up being the ones to self-sabotage their updates by themselves. And then you know, like you see people saying, oh, but the update was right. You know, the update was not fine. It messed up my phone. But, but uh, I did the same update myself. Oh, the one. Only so aggressive and all that. So first of all, what are updates? Updates are simply called OTAs or over the air, meaning that uh, your 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 manufacturer can update your phone by pushing you know updates over the internet to you. So all you have to do is download and update. So for the most part, the update that you receive comes as a compressed file a zip usually it's a zip but there could be other formats that you use but the, the point is that the update usually comes compressed so when you download it and then you decrypt and unzip the update then expands so if you are getting a 200 uh, mb or a 300 mb or a 500 mb security patch you should be well aware that that update could be up to over a, a gigabyte or even two gigabytes. If you are getting a software update of three gigabytes, then it should it could be heading towards ten gigabytes for its actual size. So when the um, when you download and then you install the update, the update doesn't end there. Most of the time, when you finish updating. It is mostly the UI, like the, the user, the, the front end of the software update that is immediately refreshed that people can see that, you know, wow, my phone has updated. But there are lots of stuff going on in the background that you do not really know about. There are a lot of files that are unzipping, that's uncompressing, and then trying to updates the part of the software or the part of the device where they are supposed to be updating right there are so many components layers on that software i have made several blogs about operating system and then uh, system software and all that I, again i'm linking in the description but you get the idea that there's so much to do so that's why uh, one of the experts that i've read have advised that as soon as you um you update your device you should make sure to keep your battery at uh, I don't know a high a high quarter between seventy five to uh, ninety or to hundred if need be. But make sure that your device, your software, recognizes that your device has battery so that it can be doing the updating in the background. Updating doesn't end immediately. You press update and then your phone goes off and then comes back on. No, update could go on for hours or for weeks depending on how much battery you have if you're the type of person that your battery is almost always low your update is going to be somewhat pending in the background because obviously there is really not enough system resources to go around to be updating and to be carrying out whatever tasks that you're doing this is where problems happen where clashes happen where codes the new codes 
uh, software, the new software that enters your phone may clash with the older software since it is not unzipping properly as it's supposed to do it. Maybe if it's, if you, maybe you charge your phone and then you run it down, you charge your phone and then you run it down, your object becomes start and stop in the background, start, stop, start, stop. And that's where you start seeing issues pop up in the background and then the phone starts misbehaving for a bit. So what I always do, I, I'm not, I am, like I said, I'm only trying to help with because i've never had a problem with updates never really never really had a problem with updates because as soon as i update my device i usually do it at night because i know that there's lots of stuff that need to go on in the background i charge my phone all the way up to 100 and unplug it i do the updates i, I always have enough battery i leave the phone i put it down as soon as it's done updating i put it down i go to bed and leave it for at least six hours or seven hours or so and always have enough battery in there my my the idea is that before i wake up since i have a lot of battery and the phone is not in use all of the system resources will be dedicated to updating my phone so as soon as i wake up i simply first restart the device i hold the power button and the phone goes off and comes back on simply clearing the ram of any old code or any old software that's in the RAM and then the phone comes back on and it's basically new codes from all the updated stuff system apps and everything that's supposed to be updated and I move on with my device as smooth as possible so that is what I do so that's why I said because I see lots of people complain about it and said that I should make this video about how software updates work and how to update your device it's really not a rocket science really just Follow these simple principles as they work for me and I strongly believe that they'd work for you too, regardless of device, Samsung, Xiaomi, the iPhone and all that. Because it's basically the, the, the underlying principles are generally the same. So at this point, I am going to step up and I'm going to leave this video. Please make sure to like, subscribe and help help a brother out. Just let this message go out. Let, let, let's do our part. I'm doing my part. So please help me. Uh, do your part uh, as usual my name is jeffrey and i will see you as always in the next one bye bye